Hooray for the Redneck Garage! Another inflatable spray booth video brought to you by me. Now the way this one's going to be different is this is the biggest, the baddest, the most advanced inflatable spray booth on the market uh, made by Warsun. So let's go and take a look at why this is uh, the greatest, biggest booth ever. And what I have heard is that it is so big that the uh, NASA can see it from space. <laughs> Well, here she is. It is a massive 28 by 15 by 10 foot. Let's open it up and see what comes in this special sweet box. This thing is huge. I'm gonna go ahead and hook up the fan. We'll put a little air to it and see where we're at as far as the inflation goes. You may be wondering why this is the biggest, baddest inflatable spray booth besides the massive size of it, right? Uh, let's take a look at some of the features that are built into this new one. It's got a high velocity fan. When you're painting, I would suggest either using a zip tie or Velcro straps around that because you don't want it to fall off. So when you're actually painting with it, put something around here like one of those Velcro straps just to make sure that this doesn't come off. But that fan has plenty of CFM to get this thing moving. The second opening is for a little bit smaller fan for your ventilation air. Now this spray booth here, the improvements on it are great and numerous. This is, the intakes are larger from right here. This is your mixing room and it pulls air in here. And these are bigger than the old ones. When you step through, they've made an allowance for this so if you want to open up the plastic and hang it up from there, then you can have this open to get some fresh air inside of the booth, which is cool. And the biggest difference between this and the older style is the filtration. Both of these panels here and over there are filtration units where the air can escape, but they're almost triple the size of the old ones as far as the air going out and getting caught by the filters in these, which is super cool. You want to be able to move a lot of air and the bigger the filter, the more air movement you can have. This thing is massive. It's got hooks. If you want to put lights up here and across the top. And this end is clear. It also has a little door you can open once you close off the big one. When you're shooting, you would open up your vent and the air would come out and then when you're done, you can go ahead and just close it off to reduce the chances of anything going back inside. This thing is, it's so huge, oh my god. Holy crap! Look at this, a full-size Chevy Express van inside the paint booth. That's freaking awesome. So that gives you an idea how big it is. And you got room to come over here on the side and paint, so awesome! 
This thing is massive! <laughs> this thing is awesome. The flow through from these two vents in the back is much improved from the other ones. So the more air you can get through, the better off the filtration is. The less heat buildup you're going to have. Um, that was really a great addition to this. And the plastic window that opens up uh, after you're done painting and it's tacked up uh, just to get cross flow. That's nice too. So I'm really, really impressed with the spray booth. Uh, it's probably the best one that I've ever seen. Okay, so that's going to be it for the inflatable spray booth. This thing was absolutely amazing from the size and the filtration, the additional sides that are all filters. Uh, this thing is just amazing. Now, when putting it up, uh, I want, I've used a helper in the past, and today I wanted to try to do it all by myself because I'm old and fat. And if I could do it, you can do it. Uh, the vacuum bag worked great. If I can get this much air of it and put it back in the box like that, I'm super happy. So this thing is ready to paint one of these beautiful Jeeps. Uh, all I can say is thumbs up to this spray booth. I've put links below for the vacuum bag and the actual spray booth that I bought. Uh, I am super, super happy with it. Hopefully, I'll get to use it here in a very short time on one of these Jeeps. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm David from the Redneck Garage. Keep turning wrenches.